what you need to rehearse is, damn, you're so fast. This is a 3.4 liter twin turbocharged engine with an electric motor on it. There will be no power loss up here. So Brendan, enjoy the good sound. Welcome to the ultimate Toyota Tundra challenge. Except we're not going off-road, we're not gonna beat up on it, we're not gonna tow with it, but we are gonna race them and we're gonna do something else. Yeah, we are also going to see the fuel efficiency with them because we're going to fill them with gas and then measure what we get on the way to the track. Yes, we're going 70 miles here from Longmont, Colorado to our airstrip for some drag racing. So this is a very unique drag race and we'll figure out who's the most efficient and who's the quickest. You have to go inside and actually pop this one because it's a hybrid. That's not the reason why. Yeah, it is because it's a pressurized fuel system and all hybrids have to do this. Yeah, but don't you do this on the uh, non-hybrid as well? You have to go inside and hit the button? No. Are you sure? Should I put in 91? Yes, premium for the new twin turbo. Right now I'm hearing people on the West Coast screaming at how cheap the fuel is here. Yeah, that's right. Okay, now we're waiting to 30 seconds. And once it's settled, then we'll squeeze. And what we have to do is make sure that every golden drop goes in there because premium is still at a premium. Ah! See what I did there? There we go. As always, we are here at Sinclair gas station. Why? Well, a couple of reasons. First, they have Dino Care additives to keep our engines running as efficiently and cleanly as possible and also because of dino pay app you could save money on fuel you could find the stations near you with the best deals all right so i'm gonna top off as well i'm not using premium like nathan is because he's got twin turbos and very sophisticated equipment i just have a 4.7 liter v8 uh -huh. and the top off bam we're all done now we only have one more tundra I am here and just like Andre I am going to use the 87 octane is that what you use so we'll, we'll go with 87 octane as well because I do not have any fancy turbos or hybrid system this is just a good old 5.7 liter v8 engine let's fill it up So I am going to reset my distance to empty and I held down the button and boom, zero, zero, zero. It says I have 442 miles to empty. I'm super excited for this comparison because I am in 2006 Toyota Tundra double cab, which means it's a crew cab. It's a four by four. It's one of the last of the first generation Tundra, and it's mwah, it's amazing. I am driving the truck that replaced it. This is the second generation Toyota Tundra, and this specific one is a 2008. Also has a lot of the TRD off-road goodies, but I think that this is quite possibly the best value truck maybe on the market today. But I'm curious, Nathan, what are you driving? You guys can suck it because I am driving the most recent, newest generation of the Toyota Tundra. They didn't build it to lose out to the older ones. They built it to beat you guys completely. And that is precisely what I'm going to do. Well guys, we got 35 miles from the gas station to our racetrack. And then we'll decide who is the quickest. And then we'll go back 35 miles to the gas station and figure out who is the most efficient. Brandon, my friend, we made it to the drag strip. It's gonna be a bracket race. First, my first gen versus your second gen, and then the winner takes on Nathan's truck, the newest Tundra. And then we can also do a braking test. But 
I think this is mostly about acceleration. Andre, what is the point of this race? I mean, we know that I'm gonna beat you. This thing has the 5.7 liter V8 pumping out 381 horsepower and 401 pound-feet of torque with your, compared to your measly little 4.7. Whoa, 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 hold your horses there, my friend. Dude, this is the indestructible engine. Some people call it the 1 million mile engine, the 4.7 V8. It has 271 horsepower and 313 pound-feet of torque. And, well, this truck has 163,000 miles, but that's not the point. This truck is lightweight. It's just under 5,200 pounds of weight. How heavy are you? Well, yeah, I'm about 5,900 pounds. And, and that longevity is great, but we are racing a quarter mile, not a million miles. start oh he's kanging it in there whoa this is very close i'm slowly pulling away oh and he is pulling away and away and away and away <sighs> that's about two truck lengths i i had you at the beginning dude yeah you were hanging in there a little bit at the beginning but uh once this torque kicked in, it just scooted me down the track. I ended up running a 16.84 at 86.6 miles an hour at a full mile above sea level. And your engine has a few miles on it as well, huh? Yeah, this one is showing a little over 225,000 miles, so pretty decent performance in its old age. All right, well, I don't think I can do anything better. I mean, I had a pretty good start and you kind of, at the end, walked away from me. Uh, I have to concede this one. Since I took down Andre, I get to take on the brand new Tundra, and we already know how powerful this thing is and how amazing it sounds. You know what 437 means? It means horsepower. Do you know what 583 means? It means torque. These are important numbers, Brendan, because what you need to rehearse is Oh, wow, you're so fast. Oh, wait, 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 let me try that again. Oh, wow, you're so fast. Let me try that again. Damn, you're so fast. That's the way it's gonna go. I have a 10-speed automatic transmission. This is a 3.4 liter twin turbocharged engine with an electric motor on it. There will be no power loss up here. So, Brendan, enjoy the good sound. And bye-bye. Not even close. Oh, no. Come on, Tundra. Probably can check my nails, get a nail file, because I got this I got this one little edge here. I love a V8, but nothing beats turbocharging. Especially when you have also an electric motor in there as well. Wow Nathan, that was uh that was embarrassing. 15.24 at 94.4 miles per hour, my friend. Yeah, you beat me by quite a bit, that's for sure. It uh it was not even close. I, I suspect that if we were at sea level, it might be a little closer, but I still don't think I would have beat you. Toyota did not bother building a vehicle that would lose to its former self. I mean, it, it doesn't make any sense. The only thing I'm curious about, frankly, is its overall MPG performance because we've already proven in the past that this hybrid system isn't really that efficient. It was more like it was built for power, so... Yeah. Let's do a braking test. Maybe we can go three wide and get Andre back in here. What do you say? Uh, yeah, Andre, you're up for a three way. <laughs> um, Nathan, can you come down here and grab me? Because I need the solo to yell um, to uh, get my time. So let me get this straight. You want me to grab you before the three way? Yeah, let's talk about that. <laughs> the way we always do it is we will accelerate to 60 miles an hour, even up, and then as soon as we hit those cones at the end, we'll slam on our brakes. I'm at 60. And slam! Oh. 
my brakes didn't like it very much. All right, Andre, you did it in a little over 115 feet. Which? 115? 115. Well, it's not terrible. No, I mean, this is an old truck and yeah. you got what, drum brakes in the back? Yes, I do have drums. The tires are crap on this thing too, frankly. So yeah, you did all right, better than I expected. All right. What did you do? I did it in 111 feet. Well, so, that kind of makes sense. So, so like four feet less. Yeah, so I beat you by about four feet, which but, but, I honestly expected better out of this. But you weigh like, I mean, I mean, sorry, the, the truck weighs a lot more, like 750 pounds more than my truck. That is true, yeah, so it's got a lot more weight to yeah, stop in. And I do weigh more than you, but yeah. The footprint on this is larger, right? So it's got a nice chunky amount of meat yeah, yeah. that's tearing into the road, which explains why this runway looks like no, this. No, 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 this let's runway is perfect. This, let's perfect. do mine and just show how it's to be done. You did it in, what, 93 feet? That's better oh. than 98 feet than I thought it was. <laughs> how do you, how did you get 93 how? feet out of this behemoth? Uh, I hit the brake shoe yard. And <laughs> it, it must have been the electric motor slowing him down completely. Uh, actually, yeah, that is part of it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. maybe. It was a panic stop. <laughs> there were noises. So, yeah. I kicked your butt. Okay. Not, a, not, not really unexpected, frankly. Sorry, newer tech. The 2006 first gen Tundra did the quarter mile at a mile above sea level at 17 seconds, 0.53. But at, what was your trap speed? 82 miles per hour. Oof. Now, you did it in 16.84, mm -hmm. and you did it in 15.24. Oh, gosh. So, yeah, I mean, that's a big difference to that hybrid. Yeah, twin turbo hybrid. Can I mention the fact that it's not really affected by being up here at high elevation, unlike you guys? That's a huge deal. Uh, all right, but, yeah. But before you boast too much, how about we go, go back to Sinclair and see, because I think you used a lot of fuel. You I'm gonna point a lot too. You may have been right, I don't know yet, but we'll get back to Sinclair and figure it out. Let's go do it right now. You like a lightsaber <laughs> on your hand, man. <laughs> Here's my one minute review. I wager this is the best Toyota Tundra generation because even though it's full size and it's got four doors, it's got, I think, smooth style and nice size. Look how small it is. This truck is really easy to get into. I've got a five speed automatic and a column shift like all traditional trucks should have. And look at this nice, Big steering wheel. I don't need any fancy key fobs. Bam, nice tailgate. This is a long bed. It's just over six feet and I can carry a lot of payload, about 1,400 pounds. Although uh, my towing is a little bit low at about 6,500 pounds. And best of all, this truck has amazing visibility and a rolling down rear glass. Although when this first came out, it was kind of chastised for being a bloated version of its original Tundra, I think it's aged well over time. So when you hop into the interior of the second generation Tundra, you will see that it is pretty darn basic, even though this is a much newer model. I do like these big chunky round dials. You do get the six speed automatic transmission and I will say these are probably the most comfortable seats ever to be put in a Toyota Tundra. And because this Tundra is the Crew Max, you actually get almost like a limo type experience back here. It is absolutely huge. I could completely stretch out. I do have a nice fold down center armrest and plenty of space. Oh, and my back window goes down too. And my truck has 1,300 pounds of payload, so you can fit lots in your bed, but it also has over 10,000 pounds of towing capability, unlike the first gen Tundra. It says Tundra right there, so I already know it's a Tundra. Right here, it has a light instead of a hood scoop. I'm really happy about that, except the light is kind of useless. But here's something super functional. TRD Pro with this plastic thing on the hood, that does nothing but it looks really cool and some people think that you could pop this out and put an air thing in there going up. no you can't okay one final thing right here this plastic check this out Woo! that is camouflage print right there and it matches the interior not too sure about that one either andre's vehicle looks on the inside like a camry and while brendan's has frankly better seats these do have camouflage print look at that Woo! Once again, very cool. Giant screen, giant screen. Horn that works. 
shifter that says TRD with red. Lots of buttons that actually are physical buttons. Locking rear diff and all of this stuff too. <laughs> I've got high tech. Imagine pushing something like this to receive pleasure of something heavy coming down. That's right. You can do that from the outside. Nobody else can do that. Not only that, we're talking about composite bed, just like the taco, but larger. In addition, there is a little panel over there that if I lift up, you're gonna be able to plug into and run part of a work site. Well, maybe not a work site, but part of a work site. Also, this thing holds 1,300 pounds maximum, and it can tow just over 11,000 pounds. You know what else I have? I have Fox Shocks, and there's lots of red in there. You know why? Because TRD. That's right. Oh, and finally, my window goes down too. But I am. Made it back to the gas station, 70 miles of travel. Aha! Uh -huh. <laughs> All right, Nathan, 30 seconds to top off. Yeah, I'm a little concerned. So I'm seeing something. I'm seeing 4.4 gallons on the new Tundra. I'm seeing a whole lot of shut up. <laughs> Just. Look, look, I'm gonna squeeze it and it's just gonna like go pop real quick. That's fine, okay? that's, that's fine. All right, here we go, squeeze. Pop, 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 pop! It popped. Okay, four and a half. That's fair. Are you ready for the final result? Here's Nathan, 70 miles went. Divide by 4.571. Whammo! Well, this is including uh, drag racing, right? Yeah, that's Beep. way off of what my truck said. What did your truck say? Like 17 point something. It was just totally off. Let's see what I did. What All the right. old big V8 did. The 5.7? The 5.7. I don't have good news for you either. Oh boy. You did 14.18. But I have a V8. But, but I, also, love a V8? I also have a V8, <laughs> my friend. This is my number, Nathan. What? 17.2. So the end of this, uh, at the end of this um, test, all I can say to you that lightweight things uh, are more efficient. I, I don't know what you're talking about. I think I'm plenty efficient with my big 5.7. But here's the thing, you can only tow 6,500 pounds too. Uh, I know. Do you know how pissed off people are going to get if we're spending 50, 60, 70 thousand dollars on one of these when one of you guys goes like, well, mine's more efficient, bro. <laughs> Your truck is 74,000. My truck is less. But it's not fair, of course. We, we have used trucks. Right, of course. It's still pretty impressive numbers, though, from that old truck. I'm shocked. But we know you're the quickest. Of course I am. And apparently one of the most thirsty. But when you're moving the most weight in the most quick way possible, you use fuel. That's the bottom line. Are you saying we should go EV? Oh gosh! No, okay. Oh. To be continued. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Mind blown. Thanks and join us at altfl.com. <laughs> altfl.com, right? Altfl.com.